Hello and welcome to the Mr Spreadsheet YouTube channel. This video will show you how to design a simple accounting spreadsheet in just eight minutes and in three easy stages. Firstly, we will set out our accounting spreadsheets format and layout. Then we will use Excel's table function to easily create our final template. And lastly, we will enter bank balances and fully test out the product. There are no complicated formulae to learn and the finished template is easy to use and is ideal to record your basic accounting transactions. As usual, I will show you how to obtain a copy of the final template later on in this video. And if you need any help with any of the Excel functions or routines that I've used, then please do leave a comment below. I hope you enjoy watching. Open up a new workbook and starting in cell C4 all the way through to cell J4, enter in the eight table headers that we will use for our simple accounting spreadsheet. Now, enter the 1st of March 2021 as our first transaction date in cell C5. In cell D5, we want this to record either a bank payment or a bank receipt. So with cell D5 still selected, pick up the data validation tool from the data ribbon. Choose list from the allow field and then enter the word payment, followed by a comma, and then followed by the word receipt with no spaces in the source field. Now click OK to save. And from the drop down box that now appears to the right of cell D5, select receipt. In cell E5, enter in our customer's name or indeed any other suitable reference. Now navigate away from E5 and select cell N4. Enter the heading of analysis and now copy in the 10 analysis types shown. With the range N5 through to N14 highlighted, select the formulas ribbon and then the define name command. In the dialog box that now opens, enter in the name analysis and click OK to save. Navigate back to cell F5 and select once again the data validation tool from the data ribbon. Choose list from the dialog box that opens and then enter equals analysis in the source field and now click OK. Choose sales from the drop down box that now appears to the right of cell F5. A tax rate is optional. If you do not need to record taxes, then please continue to enter the formula, but when you come to enter data, you can leave the field blank. Enter the data shown in cells P5 through to P8. And with these cells highlighted, choose the Define Name tool from the formulas ribbon and enter in the name Tax Rate with no spaces and click OK. Select cell G5 and from the data ribbon, pick up the data validation tool. Choose list from the allow field and enter equals tax rate with no spaces in the source field. Click OK to complete. We will apply a 20% tax rate to this transaction. So select 20% from the tax rate drop down box. And now format the cell as a decimal value by clicking the percentage style command on the home ribbon. Enter 120 in the gross value box H5 and skip along to cell J5, the net field, and enter in the formula equals plus H5 divided by open brackets 1 plus and point to G5 and close the brackets. The tax amount in cell I5 is simply the gross value less the net value. So enter the formula plus H5 minus J5 
into cell I5. Now select and highlight the three value fields H5 through to J5 and format these to two decimal places. That's great. We now have our first transaction line completed. We can now use Excel's table command to extend and finalize our simple accounting spreadsheet. Highlight the range C4 through to J19 and from the insert ribbon, click on the table tool. Make sure that you check the My Table Has Headers box from the Create Table dialog box that opens and then click OK. From the Table Design ribbon that opens automatically, check the Total Row box and then choose a colour and style to your liking. Finally, select cell H20 and choose Sum from the drop-down box. Do the same in cell I20. Navigate to cell C2 and enter in the name of your bank. And in cell D2, enter in the formula plus 300 plus H20. 300 represents your opening bank balance, which you should change to match your own values. And H20 is the cumulative or running total of all the gross value transactions in your accounting spreadsheet. Now highlight the range G2 through to J2 and we'll use the Merge and Center tool to combine these cells. Type in your business name and any other relevant details and then align the cell to the right. Finally, let's tidy up the worksheet by applying some basic formatting and then we are ready to fully test out our work. Now we need to copy our formulas in row 5, all the way down to the final row of our accounting spreadsheet table. Select first of all cell D5, and by using the fill tool, copy and drag down the value to cell D19. Select the range F5 through to G5, and once again, copy and drag down the contents to row 19. Highlight the range I5 through to J5, and once again, copy and drag down the formulas to row 19. Highlight the range D6 through to G19, and delete the contents. The cell values will disappear but the underlying drop-down boxes will remain active. Highlight row two and make this bold and increase the font size. Highlight cell D2 and whilst holding down the control key, also highlight the table range of H4 through to J20 and then right-click your mouse. Select the format cells option and then the numbers tab. Change the numbers to two decimal places, check the 1000 comma separator, and then select negative numbers to show as red, preceded by a minus sign. Adjust any of the column widths, such that the entire cell contents are clearly visible. And finally, from the page layout ribbon, uncheck the view grid lines box to give our worksheet a clear, crisp, white canvas background. Now, copy in the data as shown on screen. Please pause the video whilst you complete this and note that payments are shown as negative numbers. Make sure that your totals are all correct and check out the filtering tool to evaluate subsets of your data. You now have a fully functioning, simple accounting spreadsheet that you can adapt and expand to suit your own requirements. Many thanks for watching this video. We do hope that you enjoyed watching this accounting spreadsheet video and that there was lots of content that you found both useful and informative. Now, if you would like us to send you a copy of the completed template, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alternatively, please visit one of our channels on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. 
If you are a small business and you want to enhance your accounting spreadsheet knowledge, then why not watch our more advanced accounting spreadsheet tutorial? Alternatively, take a look at our How to Keep Your Accounts in Excel video. This is our inexpensive solution for businesses who would like a professional accounting spreadsheet solution fully supported by professional accountants.